Fetus circulation is an intricate system that allows the fetus to receive oxygenated blood and nutrients from the placenta. It is comprised of the blood vessel in the placenta and umbilical cord which contains two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein. The oxygenated blood is returned to the fetus via umbilical vein to the liver. A small proportion of the blood oxygenates the liver but the bulk passes through ductus venosus to bypass the liver and joins the inferior vena cava as it enters the right atrium. The ductus venosus stream passes across the right atrium through a physiological defect in the atrial septum called foramen veil to the left atrium. From here, the blood passes through the mitral wall to the left ventricle and hence the aorta. The blood from the right ventricle bypasses the lung to enter the descending aorta via the ductus arteriosus which connects the two vessels. The deoxygenated blood then passes down the aorta to enter the umbilical arterial circulation and return to the placenta for reoxygenation. What is the main aim of fetal cardiovascular system? It is designed to serve the prenatal needs and it is also designed to permit the modifications at birth which establish the neonatal circulation. The good respiration in the newborn infant is dependent upon the normal circulatory changes at birth. Three structures are very important in the transitional circulation and those include ductus venosus, ductus arteriosus and foramen oval. Blood reaches and leaves the fetus through the umbilical cord. Highly oxygenated blood passes from the placenta through the umbilical vein. Half of this blood reaches the inferior vena cava through the ductus venosus. The other half passes to liver sinusoids then to the inferior vena cava. Now there is a defect between the right and the left atrium and the blood of the inferior vena cava reaches the right atrium then the left atrium through this defect which is called foramen oval. Then to the left ventricle to the ascending aorta and the aortic arch to supply head and neck, brain, cardiac muscles and upper limbs. Here we have an embryonic herd showing superior vena cava, crista dividens, pulmonary veins, septum secundum, valve of foramen oval, inferior vena cava and oval foramen indicated by broken line. A small amount of highly oxygenated blood in the right atrium mixes with the venous blood of superior vena cava that passes to the right ventricle, then to the pulmonary artery, then to the ductus arteriosus. And what is the ductus arteriosus? It is the vessels between the pulmonary trunk and proximal part of the descending aorta and that goes to the fetal body. So ultimately, the blood goes back to the placenta via umbilical arteries. So what happens after the birth of the baby, after ligation of the umbilical cord, there is sudden fall of the blood pressure in the inferior vena cava and the right atrium. With the cry of the baby, there is aeration of the lungs at the time of the birth. So at that time, the walls of the ductus venosus constrict. So there is marked increase in pulmonary blood flow and the dramatic fall in pulmonary vascular resistance. Also, there are thinning in the walls of the pulmonary arteries. So here we have a list of major changes in the fetal circulation after the birth. And that include first of all, the closure of the foramen oval, which is the defect between the two atria. And that is physiological closure and anatomical closure as well. Moreover, there is constriction of the ductus arteriosus. By 24 hours, 20% 20 of the lumen of the ductus is closed. By 48 hours, about 82% is closed. And by 96 hours, 100% of the duct is closed. Now, bradykinin is a substance released from the fetal lungs during their initial inflation. This substance has a contractile effect on the smooth muscles of the ductus arteriosus. The adult derivatives of fetal vascular structures include, first of all, umbilical vein, ligamentous teres, umbilical arteries, medial umbilical ligaments, ductus venosus, ligamentum venosum, ductus arteriosus, ligamentum arteriosus, and foramen oval, fossa ovalis. So thank you so much. That was all about the fetal circulation. Subscribe on Obscene Kindly. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.